Hello and welcome to another review by Green Joe Tactical. Today I'm going to be covering something that's become a pitfall on forums. Uh, when a new player comes into the sport, the first thing they're going to ask, what is the best gun? When in fact what they should be asking is what do I need to play? Don't get a gun. Just don't. Uh, you will need to wait until you've uh, fulfilled enough for an airsoft defence so that you can get a real looking one. Don't bother getting a two tone, it's just, it's just not worth it. Um, you will, however, need to first sort out your gear for going. First off, you're going to need, uh, if you're playing in the winter or the summer, you're going to need good, sturdy boots. Uh, you're looking for a decent, solid sole. Ankle support, so they're probably a minimum up to just over the ankle or plenty above the ankle. Um, in as fairly robust as you can get it. Don't, you don't have to spend them a lot. You can get army surplus ones for about 10 to 15 quid, or you can stretch all the way up to something like these, which are about 115. Um, again, these are not really uh, the greatest thing to start out on because obviously you knew you don't want to be spending a lot of money on something you're not entirely sure on. So, uh, cheap is better. Uh, cheap is better in the long run for cheap uh, for newer players, but uh, I went for stuff that I've been used before. So, uh, you'll also need, you'll definitely need eye protection. Uh, if it isn't supplied, which it should be if you're renting anyway, um, if you want to get your own, then you can guarantee it's safety yourself and so on, as long as you're adhering to certain requirements, um, which uh, I will do a blog post on at some point. Um, other than that, the only thing you'll need, other than that, of course, if you're in the summer, you'll need cool clothes, not too many layers, sunscreen, which is, uh, it varies. If you're up in Scotland, there's nowhere in hell you're going to need sunscreen. Simple fact, it's always bloody wet. Same with Southwest. Um, if you're anywhere else in the UK, uh, you'll need sunscreen because it's guaranteed there's going to be no tree cover. So you're going to get burnt. Uh, other than that, you're going to need uh, some sort of water carrier, uh, be it a standard water bottle, but make sure you drink plenty of water through the day because you will be hydrated bloody quick. Um, uh, this is a 3 litre water carrier that came with a bag, which I did in another review. Um, so, the bag and the water carrier only come quite quick, so you can probably get a one of these in a pouch of some sort, but a bag uh, back for 10, 15. Get it if you can, because it may save your life, and I'm not joking, but either. Um, heat stroke is not a good thing. On the flip side, if you're in the winter, you're going to need warm clothes. Uh, there's no way, two ways around it. Uh, it. You're not always going to be moving around, especially if you're outside uh, November time. It's going to be pushing on minus degrees. It's simple fact. Uh, to that effect, obviously you want to have something in your hands, get a cheap pair of gloves. Again, reviewed in a separate video. You can have a look at that um, in the channel. Um, other than that, you want to take fleece, uh, waterproofs, that's a given, because along with the cold, you're guaranteed to get wet as well. Uh, also, British summer in the southwest and Scotland, you're going to need waterproofs all year round. Have fun with that. Um, so, other than that, bring a lunch, but uh, if the site doesn't have a, a way of, of supplying food, Make sure you've got lunch with you because you will need the energy from the food. Uh, I don't think you can skip that. You will need it because running around, if you're not used to it, uh, is going to affect you throughout the day. And you'll start to uh, run out of uh, energy. So, um, On a side note, along with eye protection, while if you're over 18 you can sign a waiver, um, to not wear a lower face, but if you're under 16, you will be required to have full face protection. So, be it glasses and face masks like that, and coverage up top. 
or a full mesh safe mask so that be the same but all the way around the top uh, and there's no two ways around that you have to have that uh, because most insurance uh, site uh, liability insurances won't cover you otherwise which is why a lot of young players are now getting uh, refused from certain sites um, so quick overview uh, as usual like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the channel, and uh, continue watching. All the videos will be continuing to come over the next couple of months and into the future. Thanks very much, and goodbye.